Rajat Prakash Singhal in the next question brings up the linkage between environment and development. He asks, how important are environmental issues on India's march towards the five trillion dollar economy? Well, Asuk Nirogi Kaya. And the first requirement of it is soothing environment, wholesome environment. Uh, the world is concerned. Everyone is concerned that the air in my city is polluted. For the first time, they have become aware that there is an index and what you breathe is poison. So environment has to be taken care of. Now, we have to contribute individually. First, filth was distasteful, but most of us were not inclined to do with, deal with it. When Pradhan Mantri started Swastha Abhiyan, it has caught up now. I can't recollect any Indian who has been on a trip abroad throwing a banana skin out of the car. I'm sure no one would have ever done that. But within the country, it was the first option. No longer. Secondly, waste is being converted by industrial process into products that are of use to us. But reckless exploitation of natural resources is causing greatest damage to environment. A man may have financial power. By financial power, he can get good education, good health, no issue. He can build a mansion, we have no problem. He can get a big luxury car, no issue on that. But when it comes to natural resources, like electricity, like water, like uh, petroleum products, now we cannot allow that person that merely because you can afford, you can waste it. You can afford anything in petroleum product, but you will have to optimally use it, keeping it as a national resource. You are in trusteeship of it. So I want people to make it a mass movement that natural resource utilization has to be optimal, it has to be Minimal as per your need, you can't correlate it with your financial power to make, avail make it available. The moment we do it, not only India's economy will go up, we will be a cleaner people, you see. As regards environment, India is a world leader. Climate change has been in our ethos for thousands of years. We have lived with a system where we do not challenge nature. We are in harmony with nature. No country in the world can claim to worship trees. You will not find another country in the world where a person is prepared to lay down one's life if you cut a tree. But environment is most important. And if we do not address these issues well in time, economy is bound to be impacted. So, um, while I have no doubt that uh, we will have attainment of that economic dimension which has been projected, as I had already indicated, will be the third largest economy by turn of the decade. And there is every likelihood that by 2047 we will be at the top. That will happen. But environment issues have to be addressed. And environment issues can't be addressed by individuals, can't be addressed by countries alone. Environmental issues require convergence of individuals, convergence of nations, and be on the same platform to address these burdening issues. As regards some issues that are to be addressed at the level of individual, now how painful it is. People go to hill stations for enjoyment, they are places of attraction, and they freely throw plastic bottles here and there. They throw waste like this. A little discipline, a little care and caution by them can save the environment. Excessive use of plastic 
has caused havoc with seas. It is a great pain to see that animals are the worst sufferers. So an individual will have to be extremely conscious, cautious, proactive to make his individual contribution and that will have larger impact. The next question is from Priya Tyagi. Priya asks, are there any steps being taken to create a dedicated platform that promotes industrial training for technology students? Uh, I think number of avenues are already there and uh, it is taking place massive, in a massive manner. Uh, the government of India has started a new in ministry, a skill ministry, that's also functional. And this is very important also, you see, because unless uh, industrial training is promoted, there can't be utilization of human resource. Uh, what you learn is a little different than what you know. So there has to be a synergetic uh, relationship between what you learn and what you know and how to apply it. And training for that is essential. But that I'm sure is taking place. Sir, Nitin Jangid observes, the list of pending cases in Indian courts is increasing by the day. What are the technological advances and innovations required to reform our legal system? What are your suggestions, sir? Uh, Nitin, we are a strong litigating mind. As a nation, we believe in litigation. And we start a litigation, we don't allow the litigation to end. We avail all the opportunities. Everyone wants to see what the Supreme Court has to say on a particular judgment, particular uh, issue. That, as a nation, we have to avoid. The government is taking a revolutionary step of mediation, counseling, and that's a greater need, you see. Society has a great role to play. Undesirable litigation, litigation which can be settled without court, we have to have a psych in that. We are not having it. I hope a time comes when that happens. As regards technological involvement in judicial system, it is taking place at a very fast pace, fast pace, very fast pace. It's happening. And now, um, virtually the working is paperless at the uh, High Court and Supreme Court level. It will happen at uh, judiciary with which most people are concerned. But I would urge everyone, avoid going to the court if you can. It will help everyone. Sir, our final question for this segment is from Laukush Agarwal. He requests you to share a real-life experience that has encouraged you to achieve great heights as a student. He says, it will motivate all of us present here and guide us to a better career. I was favorite student of my teachers. I was lucky to be top of the class all throughout. We were living in times when we didn't have Amul. We had Paulson as butter. So whenever I would talk to a teacher, I would hear murmur from his students at a distance, Paulson, Paulson, Paulson. They used to take me, ki teacher ki chamchagiri kar raha hai, teacher ko Paulson laga raha hai. But I will tell my young friends one thing. I was always under fear. What will happen if I don't come at the top of the class? I was always worried. I should not have been worried. I tell my young friends wherever I go to institutions, never have the fear, never have stress, never have tension. Heavens will never fall if you are not at number one. It should be good enough that you are reasonably well equipped. That would have given you more time, more opportunities of interaction, sports, entertainment, and other areas. And therefore, excessive obsession with academics alone may not be the best thing. It is integrated development of your personality which matters. It is interaction with your colleagues in the class. It is getting imbibed by your teachers. 
that is also most important. So your mark sheet is not decisive indicator of your excellence, of your knowledge. A mark sheet is just like performance of a cricket player on a particular day. One who may be very good in batting on a particular day may not score even a single run. So mark sheet is of that kind. I would urge students and appeal to them, go the way you wish to go. A canal is drawn on a paper and a canal is very straight, but canal water does not impact at all other than when it is tapped. Be like a river, it meanders, and we think, why can't we have it straight? It doesn't. And the result has been that all civilizations have taken growth at bank sites of rivers. So be like a river. More meandering you do, you will be impacting larger mass, and impact will be positive. So think, do what you feel like. It may be very strange to some others. But mind you, if you look at the great personalities of the world, some of them were painters like Picasso. But painting may be not be a hot favorite with the parents. They would want everyone. There was a time 30 years ago when a child was born, they will say, Isko doctor banayenge, isko bakir banayenge, isko IS banayenge, isko police wala banayenge. What are those days now? You have to have one bottom line, and that is encouraging happiness, satisfaction, coupling it with your contribution to larger societal growth. At the same time, channelizing your aptitude, your real inclination. Never go against your aptitude, against your inclination. And that will be good. I'm extremely happy that uh, students of MIT Jaipur have asked uh, searching questions. Mm, I should have responded to them then and there. But I learned a good lesson. And when I was at IIT Guwahati, I addressed the questions then and there. So next time, if I ever happen to be uh, in MIT Jaipur, the questions will be taken on the moment. My best luck, best wishes to all the students, and I'm sure they will have opportunity to contribute to the growth trajectory and upsurge of this nation at Pinnacle in 2047. Thank you. Sir, we are grateful for your time and your invaluable insights. As the Vice President himself has said earlier, we Indians are like eclavia. There is nothing that we cannot teach ourselves if we put our mind to it. And so, let us never stop asking questions, for the answers and the winding maze of the thoughts behind the questions themselves can open up new worlds and new vistas of endless learning. Thank you.